y'all, this is Sarah. Welcome to my kitchen. This weekend is the big game and today I am sharing my recipe for chili dip, which is a family favorite and will be perfect for your Super Bowl party. First off, I'd like to share the ingredients that you'll need for this recipe. A pound of ground meat and an onion, medium to large sized, 32 ounces of refried beans, 15 ounces of black beans are optional. We like to have black beans anytime we can though. A can of diced tomatoes with green chilies. 8 ounce jar of tomato sauce and some seasonings. I don't really measure these, I add these to taste. And some shredded cheese. You're going to start by browning your meat in a skillet. One of the nice things about this recipe is that everything is prepared and you serve it all in this skillet. Because I'm using ground turkey and that can be a little bit blander than beef, I do like to add a little bit of Worcestershire sauce just to give it a little bit deeper flavor. This is completely optional, it's just something I've found I need to do with my brand of ground turkey. Now that the turkey is cooked through a good amount, I'm going to go ahead and add in my diced onion so that can start to get kind of caramelized and can start cooking that through. Now that the meat and onions are pretty well cooked through, I'm going to start seasoning up my meat a little bit. This is something that isn't in the original recipe, but I've just found that we liked to have the flavor kind of kicked up a little notch on uh, from what the original recipe would provide. So we like to throw in eh, about a tablespoon again because I've kind of just made this up. This is completely to your own tastes. A little bit of chili powder maybe half a tablespoon of the cumin. I really like cumin. I like that smoky flavor so I might be a little heavier on the cumin than you might. And then probably close to maybe a tablespoon on the garlic powder because we like garlic. We're going to go ahead and mix that in. So now we're going to go ahead and we're going to add in our refried beans. This is typically not a very attractive part. <laughs> I'd rather not think about the fact that refried beans come out of the can looking that way, but I guess it is what it is. But they'll pretty quickly kind of melt in and mix in with the ground meat and onions. Put the second can in. We'll let that all just kind of melt in. Next I'm going to add in a can of black beans that I have drained and rinsed. These are a completely optional ingredient. This was not part of the original recipe. It's something that we've added in just because our family likes to add black beans where we can to recipes. You could also, like I said, you could omit the beans altogether. I would imagine you could um, substitute chili beans or pinto beans or any other kind of bean that you liked. But the black beans are just, we kind of like those to kind of bump up the protein and fiber in recipes when we can. And so that's what we've got going here. Next we'll add in our diced tomatoes and green chilies. <laughs> and our tomato sauce. So once we have all of the ingredients incorporated, we're going to just let this simmer on a low heat for about 10 to 15 minutes. It's been about 10 minutes, so now we're going to go ahead and we are going to spread our shredded cheese on top. We'll let that stay on low heat and melt. All right, so our cheese has melted and it is time to give this a good old taste test. I did want to mention that another thing that we sometimes like to top our chili dip with, in addition to the cheese, is when we add the cheese layer, we'll also add some sliced olives or sliced green onions are a great addition as well if those are things that you enjoy. We've done both of those things. We enjoy them. Just didn't have any sliced olives this time, but we typically will do at least half in case there's anyone around that doesn't particularly enjoy olives. We'll do half olive and half not. But this is basically what it looks like. 
So we'll go ahead and we'll scoop a little bit out here. Make sure I get a good chunk, good amount of cheese because cheese is important. So that's what we've got going there. And then what we like to eat it with are, are either wavy potato chips is my preference and then tortilla chips is a great um, scoop for that. And then my absolute favorite that we don't have any at the moment are the Fritos scoops. Those are my absolute favorite to eat this with. So I'm gonna go ahead and grab a chip here and take a bite. Mm. So, so good. So awesome. My family loves this recipe. This is actually what my family does on Christmas Eve. We do a bunch of snacks Christmas Eve while we watch our Christmas movie. And this is our go-to, kind of the centerpiece of our Christmas Eve snacky dinner. So I hope that you all enjoy this too. If you enjoyed this video and think chili dip is something that you might like to see at one of your Super Bowl parties, I hope you'll give this video a thumbs up. I'll have the recipe in the description box down below. Let me know in the comments below, what's your favorite Super Bowl food? If you try this for your Super Bowl party this year, I'd love to know in the comments how it turned out and if you and your guests enjoyed it. Thanks so much for watching this video. I'll see you next time.